Jeffries as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostest. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sporty spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghost as... Topper. Like flicking fireflies, dance in thee. Dance in thee. Dance in the, uh, the ballroom of the Sphinx Hotel in Cairo, Illinois. It doesn't rhyme. I know, but it's air conditioned. Dance in the sky. Ooh, whatever made her think of that? Why do you suppose Henrietta writes poetry? Probably because somebody told her she couldn't write prose. Hello, Selma. It's Henrietta. I'm all finished. Thirty-six poems. Thirty-six bombs. I'm going to call them Castles and Buttermilk. A slim volume of verse. Wow. And you know who's coming to dinner tonight? Who? Mr. and Mrs. Van. The Van. Oh, no. Stop that. Stop it, I say. Stop. Paul Copper, don't go in the house. No, don't go in the house. Why, what's happened? Well, uh, a quarantine. Uh, yes, Katie. Katie? Yeah. Uh, uh, she has hoof and mouth disease. Yes, there's, there's four or five bales of hay in her room. We just sent for a vet. All right, now stop this nonsense. What is all this? Okay. The Vances are coming to dinner. Mm. Yes, don't I know it. But, Topper, how can you go in the house with these monsters? Yes, they why don't you come to the movies with us? Yeah. That sounds very nice. But what excuse am I going to make to Henrietta? Well, tell her you have to work late at the bank. Yes, might get away with that. Well, let's go. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I thought I heard you, dear. Why are you so late? I got held up at the bank, dear. How awful. Did they steal much money? I mean, I, I had to work late at the bank. Oh. I mean, I have to work late at the bank oh. tonight. And so I'm afraid you'll have to entertain the bouncers on your own, dear. Well, that's perfectly all right, Cosmo. Oh, I'm glad of that. Because Mrs. Vance just phoned to say they're coming tomorrow night instead. Oh, no. You can say that again. What's that, dear? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Do you know what time it is? Where is your family? Is this your idea of fun? Sitting in front of a television set at this hour of the morning? Alone? Drunk? High? Strung out? You want to get rid of me right now? How about getting rid of your disease right now? Alcoholism and addiction are killing you. Seafield has the answers. Call us today. We can help. Call 1-800-448-4808. New York Bank says no. Champion says yes. Dad, you go in. My husband's inside. Oh, there they are. Now run along. No, no, George, we can't let him suffer alone. No, 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 uh, Topper, we'll stay. No, you won't. And you're going to leave. Yes, we'll stay. We'll stay. Confound you two. You're going to ruin my whole evening. I beg your pardon. Oh, oh sorry. Um, I was rehearsing for next week. <laughs> uh, we're uh, expecting a couple of balls. Of course. Culturally speaking, this community is arid. Uh, for the best in art and music and literature, one must go to Europe, where things are more, uh, how shall I put it, uh, continental. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yes, yes. Arid. That describes it perfectly, doesn't it, Cosmo? Oh, I don't know much about these things. Uh, let me see now. You took the uh, Ten of Hearts, King of Spades, and the uh, Nine of Diamonds. Oh, I guess the four clubs will be safe. Jen. Jen! Well, Topper, there's a lull in the conversation. Uh, I understand you're quite a golf enthusiast, Ben. <laughs> now, now you said a mouthful. Uh, you play golf? Uh, a little. Yeah, well, everyone should. You know, it's... It, it keeps the circulation going. You know, you know, the whoosh. 
Cosmo, a little dancer's glass is empty. Oh, I'll listen all that. Make it stronger this time, will you? But make it a little weaker this time. I asked first. <laughs> What are you whispering about? Uh, I think I hear that moth again. Moth, if you're looking for us, darling, we're right here. Now tell the truth. Aren't they terrible boars? Terrible boars. Terrible boars. What? Uh, moth. Most boring things I know. Bore right into your closet. Are you fond of poetry, Mr. Bass? Poets are a dime a dozen these days. So, you play golf, do you? <laughs> well, it's a great game. You know, there's nothing quite like it. What? Does he have to do that? Evidently. Where are you going? Never mind. What? Randolph, I wish you'd stop wishing, wishing, whatever it is. Anyway, stop it. What are we talking about? Well, if you'd stop talking for a minute, Carolyn, well, maybe we could drink to the topic. Uh, uh, well, there is mud in your eye. That's charming. <laughs> oh, Cosmo, aren't they a little strong? Well, I, I missed them toward one. Four to one, what? Uh, let me get you another. Mm, no, thank you. Mr. Vance. <laughs> I, I, I like him strong, you know. It, 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 it keeps the circulation going. Now, you, look here, if you really like to play golf, you should come out of the club sometime. <laughs> That'd be fine. Yeah, do you well really good, you know, fresh air, a little exercise. Oh, wonderful. That's the ticket. You tee up that old ball, take that old stamp, Take that old driver back over your old shoulder when you look off to that old green and... What? what happened? Oh, it's all right, dear. I chased him out. He won't bother you again. Who won't bother me? What do you mean? Well, the moth, of course. Moth? Hurry, little fellow, wasn't he? <laughs> Day at Six Flags Great Adventure. It's a world of fun. Hey, there's nothing like a Six Flags day with your kids. Now there's nothing like the excitement of Adventure Rivers. Over 100 great rides and attractions and all, including the world's largest drive through safari. Share the fun today at a theme park bigger than Disneyland. Six Flags Great Adventure. It's not a world away. It's a world of fun, Doc. Get these great savings with specially marked cans of Coca-Cola Classic and Diet Coke.